Hello YouTube, this is Krosama. And here I have the Master Grade Build Strike Gundam. And I have been eagerly waiting for this Gundam. Uh, I don't know, just I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And I ordered it and it never came in, but I went to KatsuCon. I seen it and I was like, well, I already ordered it. Kind of sucks that I can buy it here. And I was thinking, wait a minute. Next month, they're releasing the Universal Booster Master Grade. I was like, well, I'll just buy this one now, build it as the build strike, and when the other one comes in the mail, I'll put that aside for when the Universal Booster comes out. So I'm pretty, pretty pumped uh, because now I can actually build this guy and I don't have to keep waiting and waiting uh, for the, you know, for the one that's coming through the mail. But let's go ahead and take a look at the front cover and everything else and the insides and so on and so forth. So as you can see, he is fighting the Zaku Amazing, which in my opinion is not that amazing. Uh, sorry guys, I'm an I'm a anti-Zaku kind of guy. So uh, yeah. But this is a build fighter, say Lori, custom made mobile suit, beautiful, everything about it. The, the box heart looks amazing. And um, I like how it's, it's saying build fighters. I don't know, I have to check all the other masquerades, but I don't know how, you know, if they do say they're, uh, where they're from underneath there or if it's a new thing. But this is the first masquerade of the series. And uh, came out in 2014. Actually, came out uh, January. So looking on the side, you can see here front, nice, you know, front cover. Stay Lori right there. And I thought it was gonna come with uh, someone else because I, I, I thought someone told me that it, it came with uh, something like a, a different figure, not Stay Lori. So um, yeah. And here you can see some decals, which look pretty cool. Uh, a rear shot of it. A uh, you know, just a regular shot of the. Uh, the, the strike or build strike without the uh, the pack and you know here you can see the uh, the booster right here looks freaking phenomenal uh, you can see the gimmicks just pretty much the build booster gimmicks uh, here's some extra parts that you're gonna be able to customize uh, well not really customize but you can attach the backpack onto other different um, mobile suits using up these parts so I think that's pretty cool and uh, here you can see the uh, two cannons and you got some wheels right here what is this Oh no, it just shows the uh, rotation of the cannons, which is pretty cool. The laser beam cannon. Oh, large, sorry. Large beam cannon. And looking on that side. And we'll go over here and you can see one of his uh, beam rifles. It's actually the enhanced beam rifle, which looks freaking awesome. I'm pretty pumped to use that because, uh, I don't know, this is my favorite of the, uh, of the three weapons he has. And you're going to see the regular beam rifle. His other... Uh, weapons that it uh, comes with and you can see you can put the shield onto the weapon well actually you put the weapons onto the shield I think it's a pretty cool gimmick but I'm probably not going to use that and just some little other gimmicks right here and it looks like it's going to be utilizing the uh, strike RM which is not a problem and here you can see it retails for 4200 yen which is a pretty decent price and uh, let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open and take a look at each runner okay so starting with the A plate you can see the pilots right here in which it does not look like say Lori uh, so I guess I was correct, but maybe on one of the other runners. I haven't actually uh, looked at them yet. But uh, yeah, you get the two polish from C. You know, I don't even know their freaking names. Uh, well, the, the guy, the main character's name, uh, Kira, Kiro, Ki, Kira. I think it's Kira. Whatever. I hate that show. And uh, yeah, we're gonna keep moving on. <laughs> so you get some white, some yellow, some blue. And I mean, it's pretty much seed. It, it looks like seed stuff. Um, a lot of this does look like the original parts from the seed uh, RM, you know, version RM. So I'm probably correct on that part and get a little clear, clear piece up here. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and move on to B. Okay, so here's runner B, and yes, once again, it looks like uh, it says Seed X Armor. So, oh, right, that's pretty cool. I, I don't know. This whole thing just looks really awesome. I, I don't know if it's loan stuff from uh, from the seed RM, which it should be because I mean Bandai is is very notorious for reusing stuff, but this is pretty much all white and it's parts for the legs and a hand right there. So. And here is your runner C, which is very small and it's just legs. So you get red, feet, bam. Your runner D, which is inner frame and hands, and that's pretty much enough said. You know, not much going on. And here is runner E, which looks a lot like the seed RM. Uh, yeah, so remastered, reused seed stuff. Blah blah blah, inner frame. F runner, once again, more inner frame. Actually, this is more outer frame on these parts right here. Well, inner frame, ankle, so, you know, but it's still very visible. Uh, knee parts, waist, and that's about it. H2, where's H1? Where's G? Don't know, but 
This is going to be your H2 runner, which is only two parts. I um, believe this is going to be this is the cockpit and this is the waist. And that's it. Runner L. So you skip in a lot of uh, a lot of runners, but you know you got your runner L, and you get some really nice detail in the inner frame of the uh, skirts, the front and back skirts. Uh, it looks like you got some neck parts right there. Mm, I think this is for the back thrusters and the regular strike, and you get some extra hands right there, which are probably utilized uh, with the extra stuff that came with. Uh, actually, these parts as well. This is for the perfect strike right here, if you want to make the perfect strike and utilize the other weaponry. But uh, yeah, that's the L runner. Here is runner M. So more inner frame stuff. You get you know your front, back, chest, and uh, just uh, hmm. Oh, this is the leg leg thrusters, I believe, and uh, that's really about it. Just some more inner frame parts for the legs up here. This is like gonna be the feet. So that's it. Here's N, and there's Say Lori. So oh, Say A. I think that's how you properly pronounce it. Say A. Um, so yeah, you get your uh, new V fin up here, and I think it looks pretty cool. I, I like I like the yellow uh, the yellow V fin that this one has. Um, I'm pretty much the anything anything seed strike, you know. I think it looks pretty good. So um, their V fins are really nice looking. And here's the front face right there, as you can see, and some clear parts. Uh, this is the new side skirts, which looks pretty cool. This is gonna be for the shield, and just like the yellow and blue. This is gonna be for the. Uh, hmm. I think this is gonna be for the leg. I, I can't really remember to see the the strike too much. But uh, yeah, that's it for this. And here is O1, which I think pretty much the rest of the runners from now on are going to be all brand new runners. I think that was uh, the reason for the big skip. But here's some white parts. You got some shoulder. Um, I think most of this is just going to be, let's see, you got, this is going to be for the, um, the booster. Um, beam saber. Yeah, some nice stuff over here. So this is all new stuff and it looks pretty nice. Here is O2, which is going to be pretty much the same thing. You know, except for the other one's going to have those uh, two booster uh, white parts for the, uh, the, the the fighter, the booster fighter. And it looks pretty good. So, And here is runner P. So this is pretty much more the weaponry, the uh, pretty much the pistols, the... Yeah, that's really about it. You got the shield parts up here. And hmm, I guess this is more... Uh, like this is going to be the, um, the barrel of the beam rifle. So you're going to have uh, Q1 and Q2, as you can see. Q2 uh, is not going to have these little extra parts on the side, so we're going to just review. Oops, get out of there. Q1, set that to the side. All right, yeah. So uh, pretty much more inner frame parts, as you can see. Uh, not really too sure at all. I think this is just going to be some new parts. Uh, so you're probably not going to utilize the uh, version RM stuff. We've got some ankle, uh, some ankle parts right here, which is pretty cool. And uh, looks like a lot of parts more for the uh, for the booster. The uh, the build booster, yeah, that's pretty cool. And a uh, new backpack, little backpack thruster for the strike. That yeah, looks nice. So let's go ahead and uh, move on. And here is R1, which looks pretty cool. Uh, it's gonna be all blue. I like the blue. I think the blue looks pretty good. You're gonna have a lot of places for paralining, especially right here on the wings, as you can see, which looks cool. And here's more of the uh, the actual build booster. It's nice, and it's gonna be for uh, the actual cannons, the little side beam cannons. And it looks fantastic. All right, so let's go ahead and move on. Here you're gonna have R2, which is gonna be some more wings for the opposite side, and that's pretty much about it. More blue. Here you're gonna have S1 and S2. S2 is gonna be missing pretty much most of S1. But you're gonna have here, uh, looks like for the shield, that's for sure the shoulders, uh, and the cannons. So that's about it. And over here, this is gonna be the shield and side skirts, and probably that's gonna be the face right there. The little crown right there, little jewel, and that's about it. So nice red though, I like it. Okay, and this is the last runner for the kit. It's his uh, runner T, and this is gonna be for the big, the big enhanced uh, beam rifle, which looks pretty cool. And you're gonna have some more leg parts right there, and uh, looks like that's gonna be about it. But a lot of places for panel hunting, as you can see, and you'll be putting your uh, little green stickers right here, which I'm not too fond of the stickers. So uh, if you want to go ahead and paint that, you can to get you know. Looks like it's fairly easy to do. Uh, but that's it. Okay, so you're gonna have this uh, nice stand that's gonna come with, and it looks like it's gonna be the same stand for the uh, the wing because it says 2004. I could be wrong, uh, but it does look like the uh, the same stand for the uh, wing custom. 
I could be wrong though, but you know, nonetheless, it's a nice uh, stand. And uh, you know, when the kit comes with a free stand, you know, I'm not gonna complain. It's less for me to buy. Here you're gonna have your PC runner, all flexible and stuff. So, you know, basic stuff. Here you have your beam savers, two regular beam savers. Here you're gonna have some nice little stickers. Obviously, the green is gonna be for the uh, enhanced beam rifle, and pretty much your head stickers. You're gonna get this nice little pamphlet. Uh, it's Gun and Build uh, Fighters Amazing, which I guess is a new manga, and it's probably gonna be following his storyline or something. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I, I like I like the way this guy looks. Um, looks like it's another strike suit. Uh, or it could be no. Actually, I could be wrong. It looks like Alex. I don't know. Could be wrong though. And here you're gonna have some nice little parts. It's coming out in new uh, Ding Keg. Uh, I'm not. I'm not even gonna pronounce it. Um, Dingiki, Gaki, Dingaki, whatever. And you're gonna have all these nice little parts coming in. Uh, I think they look okay, but I'm not really too too much of a fan of them. It looks like a giant Swiss Army knife kind of thing going on. So uh, if you're into that, I mean, go ahead and pick it, pick that up, and go ahead and do some customizing. And here I have the manual, which is the last thing we're gonna be looking at. So has the front cover art right there. You're gonna look inside, and you're gonna see the build strike, some scenes from the anime, the build booster, which looks pretty cool, and you get his weapons, little pictures of his weapons, and he has a lot of stuff uh, available. And I don't even know, does the shield actually, that little barrel, does it shoot? I don't know. And you got the builder and the fighter, so, I like Reggie, which is pretty cool. List of runners. And just some more part, you know, some little information, as you can see. And you're going to get his body unit, and I like the way they show that right there, that's pretty cool. And I guess they're bringing back this, because... Sometimes they don't they don't do this in uh, certain master grades. I like I like when they list exactly what runners are you gonna uh, are you gonna use. That way, it kind of just prevents me from laying out every single uh, runner. And here's the head unit. Oh, going on to arm unit, waist unit, legs, and here's the little center pieces. Some nice little uh, Photoshop stuff from the uh, series, painting guide, a lot of good stuff, and it just shows you detailing. Look at that weapons, little booster, some more little gimmicks. All right, legs done, final assembly. All right, weapons, more weapons, backpack. Alright, looking at the build booster, more of it. Alright, and pretty much final assembly, and it shows you little gimmicks here and there. And the marking seals, which isn't really that many, so. And pretty much here's a completed uh, picture of it. So, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, can't wait to finish this guy up and review him. Uh, I do have the tall geese. Uh, he he's finished. I just gotta put the uh, water slides on him, and then once he's done, I'll probably either review him or I'll review the uh, the strike RM, uh, whichever one I get to you know get to first. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.